Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and today we're going to talk about the stock CD Projekt Red, my friend, CD Projekt Red. And you can see here Cyberpunk, oh my god, Cyberpunk was the real, real problem of the recent months of CD Projekt Red. And uh, especially if you now check, for example, the three-year chart. So I'm here now in Market Watch, my friends, and this is the three-year chart of CD Projekt Red. It's in Pol Polish slotties and uh, yeah and I'm going to uh, answer for myself the question today if CD Projekt Red is a is a stock that I would buy more so guys I'm invested in CD Projekt Red so this is my little disclaimer I'm invested in the company I earn already a kind of a, kind of a lot of this stock and of course I'm looking forward that it goes up again finally so so therefore if there is a conflict of interest and Guys, that's just my opinion. I'm just a little YouTuber. I have no ideas about stocks. So this is no financial advice. Okay, this, this disclaimers away, disclaimers away. I'm also making a YouTube comment picker sneaky giveaway at the end of this video in order to win. Comment, like, and subscribe to my videos. And then you can choose one of the games down in the pin post. So in the commentary pin post. Guys, this is the chart of CD Projekt Red. This is the chart. So yeah, this is the Warsaw chart. I'm also, I can... Can, we can look at this chart like that maybe the, with the candles it's a bit more clear so where are we standing now we are here we are here and you see this the moment cyberpunk 2077 came out it was dropping massively it was dropping massively so i at this point i was not owning cd project yet for me this was Everything that was going on here was kind of, yeah, I was looking forward to Cyberpunk, but I, for me, CD Projekt Red was always a one trick pony. That means in, in, in the gaming stock world, this means they only, they, they only concentrate on one game. And if this game fails, yeah, then they have a big problem. And this is then exactly what happened to them. So from a top of 460, seven slotties so you can also check here that's the chart in us dollars so you can see it like that from from like 118 dollars then to 45 dollars but i'm staying with the slotty chart so from those uh, from those extreme heights absolutely overvalued absolutely blown out we were really dropping hard so in this and here at this point at this point uh, around about in april uh, musk was tweeting that uh, that actually you can play cyberpunk 2077 pretty good on in on the tesla on the tesla board so and then we we jump back uh, and this was actually the moment I should have sold because at the moment I'm like 20% down and on the way down I was purchasing more of the stock because because I'm still thinking the moment they are announcing Witcher 4 it will be an absolutely blowout again so that's my personal opinion so guys if you don't think this it's absolutely totally correct totally okay with me so we don't have to, need to have same opinions but Overall, the chart looks good, and I think you can see here at this moment here it was just going crazy. So, and probably, probably we also what we're seeing now here is that we we have like, uh, but let's put the chart like that, that we now might get some some realism. We get some realism back in the chart. So everything actually here was extremely over overvalued and it was it was clear for me it was clear that, that cd project the stock it will come back down it will come back down and it happened but i expected actually really here i was buying here so i was really expecting that 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 it would here uh, would 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 get up actually at this point and that that cyberpunk 2077 wouldn't be this big of a fail but now we had to go deep deep to the deep to deep to the deep dive we had to go we had to uh, just fall much lower and but yeah and then you see see actually here we have some support lines at 160 slotty at some support line and now then it went up again and of course it fell because some new bad news came but no one really wants to buy the stock anymore obviously then we add 165 
and it was going up again and then next time we had 173 and now we're going up again so so probably it might fall back again on 178 and then i personally i think then to buy some more uh, is it actually interesting to buy now because uh, i mean look at the stock today it was going up so it was going up 3.35 percent just today just today the whole market was uh, dropping today but uh, cd project was actually having a nice run up yeah the fact that it was always dropping here always dropping there uh, was was actually not breaking through this resistance at, uh, at 200 slotties i would say probably it's not the best moment to buy now but when will be the best moment maybe i so on the up, upwards trend i actually could imagine buying at 200 to 205 slotties because if we break through this moving average this is a moving average i think it's the wait it's the 50 days moving average the 50 days moving average of course so you can also put other moving averages but this that's actually an interesting one if we break through the 50 day moving average wow then i could actually match into to drop a little big uh yeah a bigger sum on on cd project so what is cd project guys so this is when you go on there uh, so on the home page you see actually they're still looking for a lot a lot of lot of uh, a lot of uh, people so camera programmer environment level artists so they're still looking for people working on cyberpunk 2077 why are they looking for those people yeah, it's very simple because cyberpunk 2077 has been taken off the playstation store and uh, it's still supposed to come out uh, for the playstation 5 i would say it's in a good it's in a good state at the moment so i would say it's definitely worth playing it i enjoy it and i'm waiting for my new pc and then i'm also jumping back and really enjoying this game so current target now for cyberpunk 2077 is the first quarter in 2022 and the second quarter for the new the witcher 3 wild hunt update for the playstation 5 all right i don't think that the witcher 3 wild hunt will then uh, sell so good on the playstation 5 obviously but it depends now on the update so if it's really going to be a, a proper remake but cyberpunk 2077 the question is do people are people willing to to buy it now on the playstation i mean it's now positive mostly positively rated and actually the ratings on pc have never been so bad so they have always been good so therefore i actually imagine that when when it now comes out on the playstation 5 it was not this game was just not made for the playstation 4 and also not for the playstation 4 pro but if it comes out on the playstation 5 there is enough power to have it running actually uh, similar similar to the pc so on pc people like the game i like it so for me it's a good game so obviously i i definitely i i can't understand the, the complete uh, thought going on and then if we look for example uh, yeah this is the, the wikipedia page the wikipedia page here you can see you can read some something uh, some more in or you get some more information about the gog that's their platform they have you see all the games they developed the recent game is the monster slayer so i was checking it out what what is this monster slayer and you can see here this monster slayer game this monster slayer game is an augmented reality game for for mobile so i mean as long as they also uh doing uh, some of those casual gaming experiences i think it's it's actually it's it's actually smart they should more they should bring out in my opinion they should work on more games they would also more mobile phone games etc all of this because mobile phone games are still the game that bring also a little bit the money home so <laughs> i mean let's be honest so let's be honest so where are we at the moment ah yeah and they also pay a dividend of five slotties it's a yield at the moment from 2.4 nine percent that's pretty good and they have a PEA ratio of 18.15. This is actually not too high. This is really not too low, not too high. So, and if you look at the performance, the three month performance, 20% already. Well, the over one year performance, of course, is then 45% uh, down. That's then not so interesting. 
if I jump now back to my chart, so you you can see. So so my my thesis is if we if we break through the 200 uh, the 50 moving average and through the 200 uh, slotty, then there might be a real possibility that we go higher. If we don't break through this. Uh, then we might fall back to the 174 if it's a good trade if it's good trading like textbook then we fall uh, 174 but of course if it breaks through there if it break through there guys i can i mean it's 129 130 that's all possible all possible 125 so I'm, I'm really not excluding this if they really mess up something else so therefore guys make up your own uh, research of course uh, don't don't listen to any authority and youtuber so we are just uh, normal dudes like you so therefore no financial advice guys so it's better not to buy the stock actually if you're watching watching me now but I will consider I will consider purchasing it but that's my opinion oh my god so many financial disclaimers so guys you will ask yourself now what's wrong with this dude yeah that's how what we have to do on YouTube guys all right all right so yeah here I wanted to go back and show you a little bit uh, the financials we have the earnings they missed the earnings the other third quarter now is still running so estimated uh, 0. I think that's also in slotty 55 and you see 22 of course that's when the cyberpunk came out and all the times before they had a nice revenue they had some earnings I mean they are cash positive that's already good they have a positive revenue and they have a positive earnings I mean how many others uh, how many other growth stocks have this but they were very badly rated now underperform almost sell and here also in october to to sell us but that i mean there you see one important there you learn one important lesson those are financial analysts financial advisors who, who give out those recommendations they are not gamers they are not gamers they just they just see they just see something uh, where is it here they just see this tweet and then they say oh my god it's not coming it's not coming yeah then for this quarter they they give you a, a, a bad outlook so for this quarter it's looking bad so the average 156 so where, where are we actually again 100 yeah 200 we are 201 so we are pretty nice actually now so current we are higher than what's the analyst the, the average analyst price target so therefore i'm i'm very reluctant to 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 listen to, to those analysts guys um i can only tell you this so here also on yahoo finance you get some income statement total revenue total revenue cost costs of revenue cross profit and uh, some more so if you if you're a, a numbers person and you should of course be a numbers person if you like to invest and i can only recommend you to check this out but if you just like uh, colorful pictures like me because you are like me a gamer yeah then then you just watch the trailer and then you say this is a nice stock i want to buy this stock i mean i like this game guys this game looks good it's a good game we should we should actually be much nicer to this game i mean i wrote a positive review check out my review so i was updating it after 37 hours again and i still liked it made also a couple of videos about it so it was one of my most hyped and most anticipated games and i enjoyed it i mean i'm always saying this guy so all right so therefore i would say in conclusion my friends in conclusion my friends so for me it's a very interesting moment now where we are with cd project if we see some nice upward trend if we break through the 205 slotties then uh, this this could be a very interesting rebound straight if we if we don't break through if we fall back then it can still be interesting because then we're testing against a support line so and i hope of course it, it holds if this is not holding then i get a little bit nervous myself but if it holds then uh, wow that's a actually a good moment to 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 continue your research on cd project and guys what is also very important to 
always diversify very well diversify your stocks and not buy any any call options put options just buy simply the stocks take take some money in your hands and simply buy the stocks don't don't go on wall street bets like crazy making huge yolo uh, yolo bet so this is not so smart but the overall long time uh, trend looks good nice upward trend and and you need some time this is not a quick this is not going to be a quick rebound so sometimes yeah you might see the 10 percent in one day uh, re rebound bound, rebound rebounds but in this case i expect this goes now much slowly especially since a lot of other gaming companies were actually falling now after after the pandemic is maybe not correct we are still in the pandemic but since uh, since there are not so many lockdowns anymore so for me this for me this is a beautiful chart uh, guys this is a beautiful chart <laughs> can't wait uh, until uh, yeah can't wait to see how this uh, this asset uh, cd project this stock will uh, continue to develop this week all right so get youtube comments now we choose a winner my friends as always get the youtube comment pickers and the winners app developer my friend he knows how this works so app developer you know how this works you choose a key and then it's yours guys that this was a very long video uh this was this was not edited so i'm hoping uh, you you have no problem with this so this is a video also where i speak a bit slowly so so you can also make it of course much faster if you if you like but uh, I'm, I'm continuing with those videos i like the topic i like to talk about it and it's a general knowledge a little bit financial education it's also very useful also for gamers guys and with this i'm leaving it here and see you tomorrow see you tomorrow today depends when i upload this video at the steam autumn say 2021 oh my god how awesome would it be if steam wolf would be actually a publicly traded company oh my god i would invest in them <laughs> okay see you next time bye bye